I was going to say, are you a memorabilia collector? I mean, do you save, did you, you can't have tickets anymore, but then they don't, uh, but do you have like, do you save like some of your tickets from past shows or yeah, concerts? yeah, you'll have a nice, nice little collection. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, actually I was thinking of Ryan Ticketmaster complaining about the, the ticketless system because, uh, in some ways I find it more of a hassle. Um, and especially sometimes if I'm just going to a show on my own, I'd rather just have a ticket and not even take my phone. I don't even need it necessarily. If you're just, you're just going a short distance, like Ringo, I could happily have left my phone at home, but no, you had to have yeah. it. And I'm not saying take that option away. Sure. Leave it for the people who want to. But um, another musician a friend of mine was just complaining about that on Facebook the other day, how long it took him to open the app and just, it would have just been easier to have a paper ticket or a thing you could print at home. I say they should go back to doing that. Um, <laughs> letting you- That, that ship is saying You could print it at home or you could take it on your phone, fine. I wonder though, what they're gonna do with people who um, don't have smartphones. Yeah. Because um, I know a lot of people, especially say older people, um, will scale down and not have a smartphone and just have a phone that you can call and text and that's it. And in case of emergency phone. Yeah. To my dad. Yeah. Well, you know, I've, I've had, and I say a lot, a lot of times it's older people who just, they say, you know, I don't need to do all that stuff. Oh. I'd rather, they use their computer at home if they want to go into their bank or something. And when they're out, they can, you know, they, they were pretty much just using it for texting anyway. So that must be a sizable market of people that, um, it's got it. Well, Elton is 75. People going to the show are 80, you know, it's like, you know, it's, uh, yeah, it, it, it's funny. I mean, I, it's kind of crazy. Uh, Holly and I went to see Alice Cooper and, you know, we see like people in, you know, walkers, in walkers yes. going, schools out for summer. Like, oh my God. This is, it's just, it's you did not show your ticket in your Apple wallet. Yeah, you clearly did. <laughs> Well, you know, now that you mentioned that, um, when Elton was in uh, that, what do they call it? The thing with James Corden, where you're in his car. Where you're riding carpool it. karaoke. Yeah, carpool karaoke. When Elton was on that, he said at that time anyway, he said that he didn't have a cell phone. And he didn't carry one. He, you know, he didn't like him. And James says, oh, so I could literally kidnap you right now. <laughs> and, and you wouldn't be able to do anything about it. And Elton goes, well, actually, I've been, you know, waiting for you to say that. <laughs> so, yeah. so yeah even elton didn't have one then he's got people though who who could take care of that yeah. yes but if yeah. if corden just drove off with him i guess you know he, you know we've yeah. heard that though about other artists i think it didn't didn't we hear that about stevie nicks not not using cell phones and it's such a, a it's a funny thing to hear these days but i do get it especially for somebody like that you can if you have someone to take care of all your stuff and someone to take pictures at a concert, <laughs> what do you need a phone for? Right. Brian May made a, an observation. He, he said he felt sad now when he performed that he'd look out and he'd just see people, you know, holding up their phones. You just see this array of phones looking at you instead of the faces of the fans. Yeah. And, um, how that was said. Well, one day as a performer, it's, you know, you can't really interact with a screen. <laughs> you were just saying that special look that you get in performance yeah, or from a performer that's, you know, looking and pointing at people and it's not quite the same. Yeah. Have you seen Bob Dylan or Jack White lately? Um, they, they have this, uh, they've got a thing now where you put your phone in a bag and it's mm. locked up and there are no phones, uh, you know, at the <laughs> show, you don't see phones raised up. You know, like I had to wait for Dylan. I didn't have my phone. So I'm just kind of, you know, I sat there for half an hour, just like, okay, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to sit in my seat and just wait. And there, and actually they didn't, they didn't at Dylan's show, they didn't even have like music playing at all. So it was just, a, oh, it was just quiet, yeah, it was just this quiet theater, just so, silently waiting <laughs> for Dylan to come on. You but, with your thoughts. Yeah. Just alone with my thoughts. Yeah. Which was fine. But, you know, it's, it was, it, it did make for, uh, I, I think it's kind of a, a little more special in a way, and, mm -hmm. you know, and that you don't, uh, you know, you, 
it, it's kind of a unique experience. You don't go on YouTube and see what uh, what happened. You have to you have to actually go to the show to experience it. You engage more. I do think it allows you to engage more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I went to see Kate Bush, and she didn't. She said no photos. Um, and had people around. In when the was it? Oh, when was this? Oh, was was it when her her performance in like a few? London. 2014. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Um, yeah, that was like a residency. Some people, really, some people were really angry about that, but I thought, you know, what's the big deal? It's her show. Um, and then when I went when I went to see Chris Rock in 2017, they did what you said about how we will lock up your cell phones. So I just didn't bring it. <laughs> you didn't need it for your for for your ticket then, because mm -hmm. um, I thought, well, God, I don't want to wait in the line getting it afterwards. So um, yeah, I just didn't bring it. That was fine. Um, I don't know that I've seen that really. One time is this really irritated me. I was seeing Leonard Cohen and I was in the stance of kind of on the sides in arena and a couple rows down, this guy was just looking on his phone during the show. Mm -hmm. I just couldn't believe it. I thought, you know, Leonard Cohen is up there on the stage and he's singing Suzanne and famous blue raincoat and all the rest of it. And the, the experience this guy had, because he was just doing stuff on his phone constantly. Mm. And I thought, geez, you might as well have just stayed home and put a record on and looked at your phone. It would be the same experience. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, especially because this was, well, it wasn't his last tour, but it was his second to last tour. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I admit I do like, do like recording bits of songs because I do like being able to watch them myself afterwards. And I do. <laughs> A little bit. I don't would never record, you know, try to record a whole show or even a whole song, but it just it makes me happy. Well, I like taking pictures, but then I do that with a yeah. camera, not with the phone. So. Yeah. 